Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, All About BI. In the previous video, we discussed how do we uh, implement sorting based on the file name. The file name is containing uh, date part in it and we need to find the file with the latest date. That is what we did in the last session, but based on certain um, array processing methodologies. Okay, So what we did, we, we read all the uh, file names, we stored it in uh, um, an array of integer type and then we did the maximum out of that integer array and based on that we searched in the file name to pick up the file with the corresponding date okay this this was a bit lengthy process and uh, in this video i'm going to tell you another way to implement the same stuff without using much complex array processing techniques okay so how do we do that is we have a simple get metadata activity this brings all the file names that are in the container or the folder that we are pointing to okay there is a for each loop here which loops over the child items that are brought by get metadata activity inside the for each loop just uh, make a note that the for each loop works in the sequential manner okay if we make it uh, uh, parallel then it will not work okay for the given uh, case study all right in given use case i'm sorry so this for each loop working in sequential over the child items that are brought by get metadata data activity inside for each i have an if condition this if condition is a very simple expression this uses greater function okay uh, so what does this greater function do is it check it checks whether the first value is greater than the second value it returns true when the first value is more or return false when less okay greater normally we used to think like it, it works only on integer values okay like uh, at the rate greater um, 1 comma 2 so if we do this we will expect it to return false because 1 is less than 2 so the greater function will uh, return false but um, as per the documentation this greater function is not only for integer parameters but also it works against string um, parameters as well so what i'm doing i'm just uh, giving two parameters to greater function the first one is the item dot name which is the current file name brought by the uh, for each loop iteration okay and the second one is the variables of temp file what is this variable is i am having a default value in one of my variables okay just for the comparison purposes i just reduce it one second so i have a temp file here this temp file is a string variable and uh, i am storing a sample value similar to my um, uh, file name uh, other file names okay my file names are looking like file csv underscore a date part dot csv so similarly i have uh, assigned a default value to the temp file variable so this is carrying some um, file name that pertains to the past 2022 0101 so why i am using this is i have to uh, have some temporary variable to keep comparing two values right so for that i am just declaring a temp variable here and making use of that in the if uh, condition okay inside for each i have if condition and inside that i have this expression greater item dot name comma variables dot temp file so in our case how it will look like it will be data and then file csv underscore 2023.0321 the first file that i am pointing to and then the second parameter will be the temp file one which is nothing but file csv 2022.0101 or 0202.csv so it will compare both the uh, values and it will find the greater among them okay in our case this is going to be the greater so what i will do is i will just replace the content of the temp file with the greater one among these two in our case 2023 okay so in the first iteration after the first iteration is complete temp file will be having the value uh, file csv 2023 0, 3, 21. okay this will be the temp file content and the next time the loop executes item dot name will be the next file in the order 2023 0, 3, 24. right so file csv 2023 so it will start comparing this value and this value and then it will identify that 
um, uh, the greater value among these two is the 24 okay similarly it keeps on comparing uh, two numbers and once it compares to be true right so if the first name is file.csv this will go to the greater functions first parameter so this will be the first parameter and then the temp file will be the second parameter okay so this will compare if it is the first value is greater than the second value then the if condition will return true and what we are doing after that we are replacing the temp file again so after this iteration the temp file will become this one this value okay the first value whichever is greater and similarly in the uh, third iteration it will compare the next file with this temp file and uh, if there is a Uh, uh, I mean, while we do the comparison, if the first file is greater than the second file, we will replace the temp file variable. Otherwise, we don't do anything. Temp file re will remain as such. Okay. So inside the uh, if condition, we are just having true part here. If the first value is greater than the second value, then we are changing the temp file um, value. Okay. With the current file name. Otherwise, we don't do anything else here. So just a set variable activity, which is setting the temp file uh, after comparison. Okay, after comparison, whichever is the greater one, it will go to the temp file. All right. In the false part, we don't have anything. And uh, after I run all this, finally I am taking the temp file and assigning it into a, a latest file variable. Okay, just to uh, have a look at how the temp file is bringing value. So I am just debugging it. So this is pretty much straightforward than the solution that we discussed yesterday. Uh, so I thought of sharing it with you as well, uh, because greater function, um, as I have been knowing all the days, it it uh, I I thought it will only work on integers, but uh, luckily it works on string variables as well. So with that, uh, I mean we are going to leverage that technique, and then we are implementing this particular scenario now. So finally, set variable one has executed. and if if we check the value of it it will contain the latest file name okay so this is how we can implement um, file uh, name based sorting okay if you have any questions or comments uh, welcome you to post it in the comment section thanks a lot for watching keep supporting